What is up you guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Mackenzie and if you're not new, thank you for coming back. So, in today's video, we're going to be tackling the fireplace. I can't tell you how excited I am to do this because it's going to be such a transformation. I love my fireplace and even though it's summer, I don't want it to look like it's not being used, I guess. So what I'm going to call it is summarizing my fireplace. So I'm basically gonna set it up so it looks nice all summer while it's not being used. So, if that sounds interesting, let's jump right in. Okay, so like I said, it's taken me a little while to collect everything that I've wanted and that's why this video is coming a little later than I've wanted to. I've been dying to do this since we moved in, but Let's just quickly go over everything you're gonna need if you're wanting to do the inside of your fireplace like this too. So first thing is a high heat spray paint. And if you're gonna need it, you're also gonna need a high heat spray paint primer as well. I'm not using that today, but of course they're always going to suggest you use a high heat primer with it if you're doing the very inside of your fireplace. So this is Rust-Oleum high heat and it can handle up to 2000 degrees Fahrenheit. So specifically for the inside of my fireplace. Then in here, all I have is just cut pieces of birch trees. So these are birch logs. I love the way birch, birch logs look. Obviously I'm never going to actually burn these. These are all just gonna be for look. So I've got a box of birch logs. And in here, is a log holder <laughs> so we need something to hold up all of our birch logs inside our fireplace that's what this is so this is just a fireplace log holder that's exactly what it's called and on the very bottom here i have this giant pan so this is an industrial size cookie sheet essentially so when I was looking for fireplace pans and ash catchers, one, they're ridiculously expensive, and two, I'm not actually going to be burning anything on this. So as a cheaper alternative, I just picked up this cookie sheet, again, ordered it online, I'm gonna link everything down below. It was way cheaper and I could get the exact size that I wanted. So this is gonna fit perfectly inside my fireplace and do exactly what I needed to do. So I believe this size, mine's an 18 by 26 and it's aluminum pan sheet right on Amazon. We are going to spray paint it black, but not yet. So since we're gonna spray paint it, we need black spray paint. And this is again, Rust-Oleum Ultra Cover Paint and Primer Flat Black. So we're gonna be spray painting this and then what's gonna go inside of this is something called dragon glass. So this dragon glass is meant to be inside fire pits or fireplaces. And essentially what it is is just broken pretty glass. So it's just shards of mirror and black glass that goes inside a fire pit outside or in a fireplace. And this one, like I said, the brand is dragon glass and it's in the shade black reflective. So it's decorative glass crystals for fire pits, landscaping, aquariums, and other uses. This stuff isn't super cheap, but to get the look that we're going for, I need it. I'm hoping this one bag is gonna be enough to fill the bottom of this, because that's what we're gonna be doing after we spray paint it. We're gonna spray paint it and then fill this pan with this dragon glass. So, if this isn't enough, I'm gonna have to order another bag and this video is gonna be postponed, so fingers crossed it's enough. So, that's everything you're gonna need if you're gonna be doing just the inside of your fireplace. But me, I've got a couple more things I'm doing. So, these candle holders over on the side, I wanna spray paint those. And I'm also gonna be decorating the top of this fireplace. So this mantle part has been giving me so much trouble. trouble. I've been struggling to figure out how I want it and how I can properly hide all the cord. So in this house, I only have two plugs, one behind this big mirror over here 
and one behind the end of my couch over here, which means all the cords are gonna have to be dragged from every which way to get to the lamps or the TV. So I wanted some type of garland to cover up the back of this fireplace. And that's where this beautiful silver sparkly garland comes in. This is gonna be hopefully what solves all my cord problems. And I'm gonna put it all the way across, obviously covering all the cords. So if you have the same type of cord problem, something like garlands, little tea lights are gonna help cover that. And if you watch my last video, you'll remember I ordered these guys. So these luckily perfectly matched those lamps that I had already ordered and put up there. So I got a four pack of these little tea lights. These are probably also going to go up here. So now that we've gone over everything I'm gonna be doing and using in this video, let's get to spray painting. So we can spray paint everything and let it dry while we're prepping the rest of our fireplace. Okay, so since I'm spray painting, obviously I came outside. Luckily it's a beautiful day, so if you hear any lawn mowers or anything like that, it's because I'm outside and people are working in their yards. So, time to peel this back and spray paint it. So obviously, depending on what color you want for your fireplace is gonna dictate what color you're gonna spray paint this. So. I'm using silver and black in my fireplace, so I'm gonna spray paint this black. Obviously, the goal is to cover this whole area with that dragon glass shard stuff. So I'm not gonna worry too much about spray painting the entire bottom. I'm just gonna concentrate on what's really gonna be seen. So I'm gonna really concentrate just on the outer edges and lightly coat the middle and the outside edges here. So hopefully, this will be enough, but I've got two cans of this Ultra Cover Paint and Primer in flat, flat black. I don't know if you guys spray, spray paint a lot, but I spray paint a lot. I find myself spray painting like once a week. I don't know what, but my finger gets so tired spray painting. Not only do I get spray paint all underneath these like crazy long nails, but my finger and my arm gets so tired especially because I've been doing so much yard work lately, my arm is killing me. All right, now we can let that dry. And while we let that dry, we can do our candlesticks. But before I do that, I'm just gonna get a damp cloth and wipe them down since they're a little dusty. I think silver is gonna be the way to go. I'm having such a hard time deciding, but because it's like a, already a mercury glass, I think I'm gonna have better luck trying to get it to look like silver versus black. Silver it is, and worst case scenario, I don't like it, I can redo them or get black ones and put these elsewhere, because I love these. Now I'm just gonna shake this one up, and hopefully this goes like I planned. I think they look much better. I love silver so much more than gold. Okay. I think that's good for now. I think they look good. I don't wanna coat them too much. I'm gonna try to let these dry. I gotta hit the backs one more time. I'm gonna let these dry and now we can go in and start prepping the fireplace. Okay, I changed my mind. These aren't done yet. So I think what I'm gonna do is hit just the very bottom of these in the very top with this same spray paint we used the other day. So the Krylon Glitter Blast and the color is Silver Flash. I love this stuff. This is the only glitter spray paint that I feel actually works good, sprays good, doesn't get clogged. I love this stuff. All right, so I think because this Silver Flash makes it, it almost looks like a dark gray down here versus silver. I think I'm gonna leave it just like that, only do the glitter on the bottom. 
And just like you see me do with all spray paint, when you're done spraying spray paint, you need to tip the can upside down and give it a few sprays. That's gonna help clear out the nozzle and hopefully will prevent it from clogging up. I was looking on Amazon the other day at reviews in this and it, it has horrible reviews, but that's because people don't know how to use spray paint. Just take care of what you're using and it's not gonna clog up. So just like you see me do with every spray paint, when I'm done, I flip it upside down and give it a few sprays. And it's shooting out clear now. All right, now we can let those dry we can go work on the fireplace. Okay, so like you just saw, I obviously vacuumed this whole area, vacuumed up inside here because just like spray painting any other surface, even though this is a fireplace, I want it to look as best as it, as it can, and especially because I'm not priming. So I vacuumed everything out, and now I'm going to try to quickly wipe down the surface and just get as much of that gunk off as I can. And hopefully that will strengthen and lengthen the life of the spray paint that we're about to lay down. All right, so now that I did that, I'm gonna sweep it up and start masking everything off that I don't want spray paint to touch because this is gonna be tricky. We're doing essentially a cave and we're spray painting. So the spray paint is going to build up in here, up in the air. So we're definitely gonna wanna wear a mask and we're definitely gonna wanna have a lot of airflow through here. So I'm gonna open up all my windows. I'm opening my front door and I'm gonna put my dog somewhere else in the house just until I know if the spray paint is going to go up the chimney because I'm gonna open the flue or if it's gonna kind of build up in this room a bit. Because I don't wanna be smelling that all day and I definitely don't want my dogs to be. So now I'm just gonna sweep up everything I knocked off with the towel and we can start blocking or masking everything off. Right, now I'm gonna open up all my windows, open my front dog, open my front door, put my dog somewhere else in the house, and we're ready to go. I'm nervous. Almost forgot the most important thing. I know we've all got these right now. There is no way I can do the back of this. This smells so bad. All right, so now that I'm satisfied with how this looks, we can go outside, get everything that we spray painted earlier, that should be dry, and we can start filling up our tray with the dragon glass. Okay, like I said, that's good enough. I can't handle any more of that spray paint smell. It is way too overwhelming. So, this is how these turned out. They look so good. Just a little bit of sparkle on the bottom. They look much better now. I'm happy with that. And it doesn't feel like they're gonna chip or anything. So that enamel spray paint worked fantastic. And this looks really good too. It's got a solid matte coating of black, I don't see any silver anywhere, so I'm also really happy with this. I'm hoping, again, that we're gonna have enough dragon glass to fill it, but if not, I can, again, always order more, but fingers crossed it'll be enough for now. So, that's what we're gonna do. Fill it up and see if we've got enough. Look how pretty that looks. 
Oh yeah, sorry if you guys can still hear stuff coming from outside. I still have my front door open, my windows open because again, the smell of that spray paint was insane. Okay, so now we can peel everything back and start putting everything together. Like I said, this is gonna end up going in here and our logs on top of it. But first, obviously, we gotta peel off all of our tape pull back the cardboard and we can set everything up to see what it looks like. <laughs> Okay guys, I think that's it for today's video. As always, thank you so much for watching. I wanted to do a quicker video this time. I know the last few that I made have been either two parts or just really, really long. So hopefully you enjoyed this quicker video. I know, again, I absolutely love how it turned out. I so much more prefer these to be silver. And this kind of a fireplace, yes, I'm not gonna be burning in it, but it looks so fantastic. It has just like elevated the vibe of the room. So as always, I'm going to link everything I can down below. So all of the birch tree logs, the fireplace, the pan, the dragon glass, everything, spray paint, it will all be linked down below. And I am usually a stained glass artist, but considering the times that we're in, I'm not doing that right now. So if you wanna check out my stained glass work and my stained glass business, that will be linked down below too. And if not, I'll see you next time. Bye.